welcome back. You and Lucas still have the same chemistry. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can make shots and Lucas can still pass, so. <laughs> uh, pretty simple. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, being in the gym with those guys the last few days has been good to, to get right back around everybody. Obviously, it's a new regime, new coaching staff, um, new GM, so. Um, new practice facility, all that type of stuff. So it's a little different around here, but I uh, still feel comfortable. This is your third time back here. Does it mean that they really love you? <laughs> I don't know. It's mixed emotions. It's mixed emotions. They traded me away. Uh, nah, but I mean, it's good to be back. Uh, like I said, it's a new new regime. And um, I mean, I just want to be on a, around, around a group of guys that uh, have the same mission. They do anything to win. And it seems like this, that's what this group is about right now. I'm excited to get the year going. Playing with guys like Luka and Kyrie, do you do you expect to get a lot of wide open shots this season? Uh, yeah. I mean, you got to put two on the ball to, to stop them from scoring. So, um, I mean, both those guys are really unselfish, um, and so I mean that's one of the reasons you want to come over here as a, as a shooter, as a scorer. Is you know you're gonna get a lot of opportunities to to knock down open shots, and it's about going out there and doing your job and, and being ready when your when your numbers call and when. They, they find you, so um, I'm trying to just continue to do what I do, which is uh, knock down shots, do anything I can to help those guys out, and um, just, like I said, just do anything it takes to win. Speaking of opportunities, Coach Fitz said that you can low-key initiate the offense. People don't expect it out of you, but you can start the offense from one point. Yeah, I take pride in being able to, to play the one and two, doing whatever the uh, team asks me. Like, throughout my career, it's kind of been the story of it. Um, early on, I played a lot of point guard early. Even when I was here the first time, we had a lot of injuries. I know, um, so I played probably half the season. I was kind of initiating the offense, like you said, playing point. In the last few years, I've kind of been strictly two, uh, starting two guard in Philly, um, in Brooklyn, strictly two. But I mean, I, like I said, I take pride in um, doing whatever's asked me, uh, playing on the ball, off the ball, guarding on the ball, guarding off the ball. So um, it's just about being adaptable. Um, and that's what I'm continuing to do. You played with Kyrie at Duke and Brooklyn. What's your relationship like with him? And did you have any conversations with him before you ended up signing here? Uh, it's been it's, it's great. Um, I mean, we've been around each other. We haven't played. We've been on the team together twice, but honestly, I haven't played too many games together. Obviously, he got hurt at Duke, and the stuff in, in Brooklyn was going on. He was in and out of the lineup, so uh, haven't played too many games together. But we've been on the floor together. It's, it's, it's a smooth fit. Um, we pl play well together. Like I said, he's another unselfish guy. C commands a lot of attention, and I try to get out there and spread the floor for him, help him in any way possible. So, um, obviously, uh, I feel very comfortable being back on the floor with Kyrie. And then how do you feel physically? Because I know you're dealing with injuries the last couple of years. So how do you feel right now physically? I feel good. I feel good as ever right now. Yeah, I've been dealing with stuff over the past couple of years. Um, uh, never really could get to 100% in the last, last year, but uh, feeling good right now, getting stronger and stronger. And um, I think being able to do everything I need to in camp, go full speed, and uh, looking, looking forward to just a healthy year. So, if, if this is your eighth NBA team, are you sick of moving around a lot? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's part of it. It's part of it. I mean, I grew up around the league, so I kind of know, know the deal. Um, and my wife's the same way, so. Uh, I'm kind of lucky I don't got to explain it, the business to her, so she kind of gets it, so I mean, it's part of it. I mean, when I was undrafted or uh, trying to get in the league, I'm, I wouldn't be complaining about moving around. I'd be happy to have a spot and just uh, turn this into a 10, 11 year career, so I'm excited about uh, being back here and um, I'm just happy to, to be, still be playing basketball at this high level and just keep it rolling. But do you even react anymore when you get traded? Like, oh, I'm trying to trade again. <laughs> Uh, nah, you can't. You can't take it personal. You can't. You can, not at all. Uh, I mean, I feel like the main, the biggest thing for me is just trying to leave a mark on where I left. I think um, every place I've left, I feel like the fan base is still uh, kind of respected what I do and, and and like me as a player. Which you can't say that about every player that that, that leaves. And also the organization, I think, it's, uh, means a lot. With this organization wanted me back a couple of times. I know. Um, feel it the same way, so uh, I mean, I feel like a, just being a professional, doing it the right way, leaving on the right terms, and it, it says a lot about you. 
and you NBA season kind of feels like in your school season, if the Mavs had a yearbook, what would you be? Best dressed, most likely to be the president, have your own TV show? Uh, I don't know, I'd be most laid back probably. I don't know, uh, that's a good question. Um, that's a great question, I don't know. I gotta think about that a little bit more. What about Luca? Luca would be a uh, class clown. <laughs> You're not the first person to say that. Okay. After you left last time, did you maintain the home meeting? I did, I did, I did, yeah. So does that make it easier, this? It makes it easier on the family. Uh, just coming back, um, a little easier transition on everybody. Um, like I said, still familiar with the, with the city and uh, and obviously love the city, enjoy it. So, um, kind of one, definitely one of the, the factors into resigning. Here. Between you and your brother, between you and your brother and your dad, could you describe some of those backyard pickup games? What they were like? Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I was telling somebody the other day. I never really got to beat my dad in a one-on-one game because as soon as Steph beat him, I was a little younger. He stopped playing both of us. He wasn't taking any more else. He would only play us in horse. So. Uh, but I mean, I played a lot of shooting games in the backyard, and it's gotten less and less um, as we gotten older. But um, I mean, very competitive. I feel like if you if you miss one shot, say shooting a five, if you miss one shot, you might as well walk to the next spot because somebody's not gonna miss. So uh, really competitive. Um, obviously, a big factor in uh, both of us being where we are today. Did you win your draft pickup games against them? I did, I do, I did, and I do. <laughs> you remember the first time you beat uh, uh, or you beat your dad in the in the horse games? I don't remember the first time. I mean, horse and shooting games a little different. I mean, you, I won a lot of them. He's won a lot of them. Um, so I can't remember the first time. I do remember the first time Steph beat him in one on one in the backyard. And that was a big deal. My pops was not happy. Like I said, I wanted my chance. And I never got it. Steph, what's a, what's a secret talent that you have? And if you could choose any talent, what would it be? Singing, dancing, rapping? Oh, secret talent I have? I mean, I do like to fish and hunt. Um, I like, I'm starting to get into some photography, um, street photography around the house. So um, I'll say that's one of the talent I like to have. I'm trying to get better at it. It's, it's, it's a lot more to it than it seems. What do you think about the potential of this team? Your perspective on, on where it can go this year? A lot of potential, a lot of talent. Um, I mean, top to bottom, a lot of guys that can play. And it's just about us putting it together. I mean, obviously, offensively, should have one of the best rosters in the league. And I mean, it's about just getting timely stops on the defensive end, figuring out what we're going to do defensively with our lineups. And um, just everybody contributing throughout the long season. I mean, you want to be healthy and playing at your playing your best at the end of the season. Um, but in the Western Conference, you can't you can't really waste time either because I mean, it's, every team feel like they got a chance to make the playoffs. So you got to get to we got to get up to a strong start and and keep it rolling. So for, for current NBA fans, we're well aware of you and obviously your brother. Can you give anybody has an idea how good a shooter your dad was when he was a player? I think most do. I think most do. Uh, I think just with us being in the league uh, last few years and step breaking three point record and things like that, people kind of look, looking back to what my dad did. Um, but I mean, it's clear he was kind of set the stage. He's the originator of what we do. Um, and six man of the year back in the day, um, one of the best three point shooters of all time. Um, if anybody's making a list, you got to be on it. So uh, I think people, I think. People are starting to realize, or or new, or people who didn't know are kind of getting that lesson. Hey Seth, Noah Weber from the Smoking Cuban. You made your free agency decision pretty quickly. You wanted to come back. Did you know heading into free agency? Did you know you wanted to be a Maverick? Uh, I mean, I won't say I knew it. I knew it wouldn't be one of the options. Um, you never know free agency. You never know what's going to shake with different players and different trades and different rosters. Um, but. I mean, you just look at the landscape, you know, kind of know your options, and as time gets closer and closer to that July 1st date, you um, you narrow it down. So, kind of just worked out, happy to be back. Hey, Seth, you, you, you talked about your dad's legacy. Um, what, what about your own that you're building? Because, you know, the last seven seasons that you played, you shot over 40% from three, and I think you have a, the fifth highest 
three point percentage um, in the history. What do you think your shot racks up in in the history of this game? I think it's up there with anybody. Uh, obviously, you just said, I mean, with my role, I don't have the volume. It's, it's other guys like Steph or other players, but um, as far as accuracy and doing what I do, I feel like I'm at the top of the list, but still still making my mark, trying to get better and better and, and keep it rolling. For the, uh, what we do is about consistency and and doing it for a long time. So um, I think that's where you leave your mark when you're done. You're going to say you, you never had any drop-offs and kept getting better and better and, and stayed at a level of pace for a long time, like I said. So um, like I said, I'm still writing my story and trying to keep it rolling. Appreciate One more it. thing. One more. Yeah. Uh, last time you, you left, you know, when you came back the first time, your first game back here, I'm sure it was the competitor in you, but you made a comment like, uh, you know, this Mav made a bad business decision. When you when you did come back, did you kind of tease Mark about that? Uh, now, Mark admitted a mistake. Um, <laughs> to me personally, probably a little bit before that, you know. So, nah, it was, it's all, I'm probably joking around when I said it, but, uh, um, like I said, it's never personal, um, and you kind of just use that as motivation when you play. When you come back, play every team, try to you do whatever you can to to get up for the game and and try to try to put on your best performance. But um, Mark knows he made a mistake still. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right.